Hi, it's Michael Farr from Farr Miller and Washington. It's not been a good week or two for news. The situation in the Ukraine continues to be violent and unsettled. The situation in Israel and the Gaza Strip also uh, very tumultuous. In spite of all of the world's problems, stock markets are moving higher, relentlessly higher. I asked a question on my Facebook page this morning. How high have the markets gone while you've been waiting for them to fall? I think it's an important question. Remember what my partner John Washington has said for several decades. And that is the trends always last longer than most people think they ever will. This uptrend in stocks right now is lasting a lot longer than most people ever thought, and we have been a, an extremely long period without a 10% correction. Do yourself a favor and remember that stock markets go down. We will have a 10% correction, and if you keep remembering that, you will be one of the few who won't be surprised, and I know you won't panic because you're disciplined and you're reasonable and you tune in and listen to us from time to time. Numbers. The unemployment data and unemployment claims reached an eight-year low. Very good news. We also saw a significant decline on new home sales and existing home sales. Those numbers have been coming down. Home sales are a really important piece of datum when we look at the health of the economy and the strength of the economic recovery. The tougher lending standards uh, are being blamed for the downturn in sales. I'm not sure that's it. If you've been reading what we've been writing for the past couple of years and listening to me on these videos, uh, for which I'm grateful, thank you, I hope they've been helpful, I would also tell you that we don't think the consumer has much more money. The consumer really isn't in a position to borrow, wages haven't been increasing, and real employment? We're not seeing real employment increase. In fact, the labor force itself has been shrinking, right? Fewer people employed over the past 10 years as a percentage of the population, which means the consumer doesn't have a lot more money to go out and spend and buy things. Uh, uh, with. So, um, until we see a real resurgence in income that can fuel demand, we're going to continue to color ourselves cautious uh, in terms of a more robust recovery. Things aren't bad, but this housing number is a real concern. So, we continue to advise that you be cautious, um, that you don't become complacent, but don't forget that the whole time we've been worried and cautious, the market has moved higher. We're fully invested all the time, so we've continued to benefit and continue to make money, and our clients are doing well. So uh, we're very pleased about that. We don't wish the markets or the economy any ill will, but we don't want to start using hope as any sort of strategy. We look at numbers and we look at fundamentals and we listen to the rules that we've learned uh, over decades in this business. If you need a little help sorting through all of the tea leaves and what they mean and what it might mean to your portfolio, give us a call at Farm Miller in Washington. We'd love to be helpful to you. We hope uh, these updates are helpful. You can take a look at our new web page. You can follow us on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. It's Michael underscore K underscore Far on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, um, LinkedIn, all of those things. We try and communicate. We try and stay connected. And we appreciate you staying connected with us. In Washington, D.C., wishing you a great weekend. I'm Michael Farr.